In Affinity Designer, as well as Photo 2.3, you can use the spiral feature, a new feature of both. You can also use it with the move slash duplicate feature with a new scale feature. Let's go right to the start. I'm just gonna use the spiral tool. And if you can't find the spiral tool, you need to go up to Affinity Designer and then check for updates. So check for updates. And if you still can't find it, go to view and down to customize tools and it should be there. So let's just create a spiral, very basic spiral. And that's a great start point. So with that, you can now use the next feature. And that's by just simply going to the move tool. You see the move tool there selected and press return or enter on the keyboard. It's so on the keyboard, just the normal press return and it will pop up with this panel. Now this is very similar to 2.2, except for now you've also got the scale just down here. And I've got videos already showing you how to use the scale feature. Well, what you can also do is you can now just go down here, duplicate, and you can increase the number of copies. I'm gonna go for say 18. You can go for as many as you want. And also what you can do is you can move this, so scale, and you can see as you do that, you get this effect. You can see, you can change obviously scale. You can also change other settings if you want, horizontal, move it across like that. Maybe not so good, but you can do it if you want. But I'm just gonna go with that. So just change it to maybe like 114. Doesn't have to be. Now, unfortunately it's not live. So once you've applied it, that's it. However, the feature with the spiral is live. So I'm just gonna click okay at this point. So I'm gonna go with this, this is as good as anything. You can, of course, use any other setting. Click OK. And you'll see what's created now. You've got multiple spirals. You've got one selected. Well, I don't want just one selected. I want them all to be selected. So all selected. All selected, you can now go over here to the spiral tool. Now, if you're using the move tool, you will not see all the settings. But if you go to spiral, all the settings are available. Now I'm gonna have a, the fill with nothing. And on stroke, you can change the color. So you can go click there and you can just change the color. Maybe go with lime, go with blue, any color you want. So I'm just gonna go with that. You can also change other things as well. You can always go here to the layers. And again, make certain everything's selected. If they're not selected, I've just deselected my accident. You can always change the opacity. So just change that and you can reduce that down. So they all fade away. You can also go here, blend modes, and you can see as you change that, you'll get a whole range of different, like maybe difference, just go with that. Don't have to keep with that, but let's just go with that for now. Then you can go here, you've got linear. Well, you might think, you know what, I want decaying. So I can go for decaying, they all become decaying. Semicircular, maybe go with counter semicircular. And you get this sort of weird spiraling, twirling effect, really high intensity effect. And also you can modify it, Fibonacci may be not so good, don't pretty effective actually with multiple entries. And also plotted. And all of them have their own great features. Please check out my video on all the various settings of turns, divisions, etc. But you can see just with this one, I'm just gonna go with plotted for example. Otherwise you could spend hours going through every one setting. So what you can do, you can just change that. And the thing to notice that the division 15.05, you can also enter it. So you don't have to use a slider. But as you change it, you can see what happens. It just generates a whole range of combinations. But also you can think, oh, maybe that's just a bit too thick. So let's just change it. You can just change that. You maybe go the other way and you can see the result there. Maybe too far. Maybe just go with that. You can also go click there. So dash dial. So with dash dial, you can just go down here and you can change that. And you can see as you change that, all of them change. And again, they all interact in particular ways. And again, you can just change that, also change that, and so on, there's also settings here. You can go for a whole range of different ones. Click there again. Also, you can go here, counterclockwise, or spiral anti-clockwise. Turns, you can change the number of turns. And you can see that creates pretty intense design as well. Maybe change this as well. And you can see as you change it, the design will change. Also, in the radius, so if you don't want it all crunched up down the centre, you can always change this in the radius so you don't have so much at the centre. Also, you can change here, the bias. And as you change that, they all crunch in on top of each other. There's a whole range of different options you can go through. Again, just try other ones. So, counter semicircular. 
in that and maybe change colour. Let's just go with, say, red or orange. And with that, you can then go again, turns, just change that and have that create different designs with that. Or maybe make it square. Or again, just modify the setting. And you can see a whole range of amazing spiral designs can be created very quickly in Affinity Designer as well as Affinity Photo. The exact same features, all these things are all available in Photo as well. And once you're happy with it, of course, you can then just deselect it so you can actually see the end result of your design. And if you want to change it again, simply go and select them all. Or maybe select a few of them. You don't have to select them all. Maybe one group, you'll go, ooh, let's go with eight. And you can see you can go with that, just change that. Or three. And another group, you select those. And you can always then say, just go with nine. Or maybe change the angle. All these settings can be done. And maybe go with different type. So decaying or linear. And again, lots of different options are available. And of course, you can still use, if you want, Use the feature up here, go to the move tool and then press return and then apply settings again. So you again, go here and you can change the scale of the ones selected. So those selected there will change. The other ones, of course, that were not selected will not change. But you can see now you can move this up and down to just try out different designs. Maybe go, oh, you know what? Slight different rotation. So just change the rotation or maybe change the angle, distance. Change vertical, horizontal, and how it interacts with the design below. And uh, go for duplicate. And I think, to be honest, if you go for duplicate, you are pushing it probably. It really just will probably become a mess and probably quite slow. So cancel at that point. But you can see there's a number of options with these new features. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.